Welcome to the Immigration.ca live stream series. My name is Andrea and I'm here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer. Colin is managing partner of Immigration.ca and SkilledWorker.com. Just to briefly introduce you to today's topic, we're going to be discussing how Canadian immigration systems are moving towards an exp express entry system or expression of interest type system. It all started back in 2015 with the federal skilled worker program under express entry. Recently, the province of Saskatchewan has introduced their own expression of interest system, and on August 2nd, the province of Quebec will be starting their expression of interest system. So for the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to be discussing both Saskatchewan and Quebec. So Colin, what are some of the highlights of the Saskatchewan system? So I'd like to uh, remind and invite everyone who uh, are watching our uh, presentation today, uh, take a look at our website under Provincial Immigration Programs. You'll see Saskatchewan and you'll see s the Quebec rules. So a lot of what we're going to discuss can be found uh, on different menus of those programs. So uh, the expression of interest programs all have different commonalities. Uh, first and foremost, once you are working in an expression of interest program, uh, you're generally going to have to submit online uh, an expression of interest request. Uh, once the uh, profile is presented and it's online, it's been accepted, it will be valid for 12 months. And what governments do is they conduct periodic draws. What they're looking to do is find the highest qualified candidates based on a scoring system and each draw will produce the highest ranked candidates and the, the, the general uh, objective is to always have the best candidates rather than the previous system which was the people who applied first would be given first priority uh, and what that did was it would prevent new fresh candidates who applied later but who might be far more qualified than individuals who applied first. So governments have moved away, the federal government moved away from a first come first serve into an expression of interest system. Recently Saskatchewan introduced expression of interest, Quebec as you mentioned. So the systems work with submitting an online profile, generally it goes into a pool, it's valid for 12 months, and governments conduct these periodic draws the highest ranked candidates in a draw will be given a invitation to formally apply to the particular program. You will need to perfect or submit a fully documented application to the province within a period of typically 90 days. And once the application has been processed, reviewed, and all of the elements are in there, the province will issue a nomination certificate. With that in hand, you then apply to the federal authorities formally. It's a separate, full application with the nomination certificate to conduct, for the federal government to conduct security background check and medical examinations for the applicant and the accompanying members. Now, in Saskatchewan, you have three main streams in the skilled worker uh, overall program. You have the employment offer stream, you have the occupation and demand stream, and the express entry stream. Let me just cover first and foremost the employment offer stream, which is not really an expression of interest stream. Uh, to qualify, again, having a job in hand, we've talked about this before, it's the gold standard. It means with an employer who's sponsoring you, you really go to the front of the line. Uh, the Saskatchewan program will operate where if you have an offer of employment, you'll be allowed to apply directly into the program. You must have a job offer or you must be working with a certain type of occupational, with a certain position. It has to have a certain level, a high enough level, which generally refers to education. So individuals who have uh, a, a, an occupation that's known as uh, a skill level O, or A or B, you'll be allowed to, uh, with an offer of employment, you'll be allowed to apply into the uh, employment offer stream. You must have one year of full-time experience in the previous 10 years, and you must have a language ability, which is proven by a language test recognized by Canadian authorities. Uh, you must have what is called a CLB4 uh, on an IELTS, which is the standard of, of measure of language abilities, one of them. And you must score, under a range of factors, 60 points out of 100 points. And with all of that, 
you would then be allowed to apply to the uh, immigration authorities in Saskatchewan. That's the employment offer stream. Okay, so then what is the in-demand occupation stream? So the in-demand occupation stream is one of the streams that will participate, that currently now participates, in the expression of interest system. First and foremost, you must uh, take a look at our site. Uh, the 32 occupations that are now part of the Saskatchewan uh, in-demand occupation stream, all of the occupations are listed on our website. So you have to uh, be qualified for one of those 32 occupations. You would then submit an online expression of interest application. You would need uh, to uh, score, again, as we mentioned on the previous stream, 60 points uh, out of 100. Now, you wouldn't need to have an express, uh, an express entry profile in the federal system. A lot of the provinces do work that way, where first and foremost, you need to have an express entry profile. The important understanding, the important difference between uh, having to qualify, many people can't quite qualify for the federal express entry system. In other words, the main subcomponent of the ex federal express entry system is the federal skilled worker program. To meet that program requirement, you have to be receiving 67 points, which means you must have uh, certain uh, elements on all of the factors that add up to 67 points and for many people the language requirements are also a, a challenge. Again, you need to have CLB 6s across the board. So for people who can't quite meet the federal requirements, you could look at the in-demand occupation stream. If you meet all the criteria, uh, you would need a CLB 4 and of course you need uh, to have settlement funding. But bear in mind, just because you can qualify for the in-demand the in -demand stream because you might not meet the federal skilled worker uh, express entry system, remember that the expression of interest system works on who's the best candidate on a given draw. So if you don't have high level English, it might pose an obstacle. It might prevent you from being, uh, from receiving the the uh, cutoff score that the government will set on a particular draw. So sometimes it might not be a problem. Other times you might see that without having that language score, you won't be one of the highest ranked candidates at a particular draw. So that's the second stream. Again, it's an online uh, and those are the main criteria. Okay, then finally, what's the express entry stream? So the express entry stream uh, is you must have, as all the provinces have uh, who participate in this, in this express entry system, you must have a valid active express entry profile in the federal system. Now, obviously, as I said before, you must have all the points, you must have all the requisites, you must have 67 points to qualify as a federal skilled worker, you must also have your language scores. So, uh, and of course you need settlement funding. So for the Saskatchewan Express Entry System, uh, sorry, Express Entry Stream, which will now work under an expression of interest uh, system, uh, you will need to have an occupation in demand. So you're in the federal Express Entry System, you must be one of the occupations, one of the 32 occupations that Saskatchewan has published uh, in June. Uh, and you must again reach 60 points out of 100. When they will conduct their draws, you'll find out what is the cutoff score that the province is going to set on a particular draw. Uh, obviously, the highest scores are going to receive the invitations, again, depending on how many invitations they will issue on each periodic draw. Okay, so that's Saskatchewan. What about Quebec? So what's the Quebec expression of interest system going to be? So Quebec is the largest independent of all the provinces. Quebec is the largest in terms of immigration numbers that they bring into a particular province where the government themselves, the, the particular government will nominate or uh, invite individuals uh, to a province. Uh, Quebec brings in uh, approximately 30,000 uh, skilled workers a year. Uh, of course, Ontario has the biggest number of immigrants coming to a particular province, but they generate their numbers through the federal system. Whereas Quebec is now, uh, by and large, the largest single player as an immigration program. 
Now, what Quebec will be doing is going away from a first come, first serve, skilled workers who meet a minimum cutoff score and have other elements, uh, other requirements, will be able to submit an expression of interest application. Again, you were going to submit an application. Uh, it will be valid once you get into the pool. If you have the minimum requirements, the, the, the profile will be valid for 12 months. Quebec will conduct periodic draws. Uh, the highest scores will be uh, invited to uh, submit an application for a Quebec Certificate of Selection. You'll have 90 days to submit that full application. And then, if all goes well, you'll be given uh, a Quebec approval, which is called a Quebec Certificate of Selection. Now, what we don't know currently is Quebec has not yet published, which they, we expect them to do any day, uh, what are the exact number of points that a single applicant will have to have to go into the expression of interest system. Uh, if you're married with a partner, uh, you'll obviously have uh, more factors to consider, so there'll be higher, uh, a, a, a larger number of points that one will need to have to get in. And there'll be uh, perhaps language requirements, perhaps uh, other elements might be uh, a screening tool. So uh, currently, uh, there is uh, our selection system on Quebec. Go to our website. You will see the full grid, which we call it a selection grid, and you'll see all the different points that can be awarded uh, if you uh, are a successful candidate. Again, Quebec is moving away from that first come, first serve into the best candidates will always be looked at first in terms of who's in the pool and what is their, comp their composition. Uh, Quebec also has a stream that's very important that if you're working, again, the gold standard, you have an uh, employment, you have an offer of employment, you're working in the province on a work permit, you will be able to go right into Canadian permanent residence nominated through Quebec, which is, again, a Quebec certificate of selection, if you go into the Quebec Experience Program. The uh, basic requirements will really lean towards having uh, some basic ability in the French language. So while you're working in Quebec, you would be expected to enhance your knowledge of French and get to a basic level. And once you have that, you would be able to go into an application uh, which is outside the expression of interest system. And it would give you uh, a more direct path to Canadian permanent residence. All said and done, uh, having a job in Quebec or in Saskatchewan, working in the province, you can't beat that. Uh, that really sets you apart, and that just about assures you uh, of a pathway to Canadian permanent residence. Great, great. So what, so what should an interested candidate or employer do if they would like to apply for Saskatchewan or for Quebec? So again, for Saskatchewan, uh, you're going to look to see <clears throat> if you uh, meet the expression of interest uh, components, uh, whether it's uh, the second stream or the third stream that I discussed, uh, you would submit your online uh, application. You have to obviously qualify, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, if you're an employer, uh, you'll be able, to, uh, it's interesting for you to be looking for candidates. You can recruit candidates uh, who might uh, fit. It's, it's a really a retention tool that an employer will know they'll be able to permanently retain an individual and the employer will be able to know uh, that there'll be a pathway for future retention. Uh, if you are a candidate, uh, again, the gold standard is, is finding a, an offer of employment. We have covered in the past what you need to do in terms of how to stand out, how to find a job. And if you're looking for Quebec, again, it's looking to see uh, whether you have the minimum requirements, which will be uh, outlined really in a matter of days. And we can't, uh, you know, we cannot uh, overstate uh, the fact that having an employer in hand, especially in these uh, very challenging labor market conditions for employers benefiting candidates, the unemployment rates are at historic 10-year lows. Quebec in the outlying areas has very low unemployment rates. Same with Saskatchewan. So having a good strategy working with a recruitment professional like immigration.ca. We have uh, an excellent program for employers. We are uh, in constantly uh, working with employers uh, looking to find 
very top talent, uh, talented individuals uh, who would meet uh, their requirements and employers want to know that they can retain these individuals. So we bring to employers uh, a really strong understanding of the immigration rules. Talk to, uh, talk to our, our viewers on what individual candidates can expect. Okay, so all our clients get a self-directed employment search package and it includes a database of at least 500 potential hiring employers that we'll provide to you. So it's tailored to you, so you'll choose the industry as well as the provinces. A Canadian style resume, cover letter, as well as other tools and tips to assist you in your job search. But very importantly, we also provide our clients with a 60-minute face-to-face LinkedIn tutorial, which is going to help maximize your chances. So we'll teach you how to navigate LinkedIn, create job alerts, and improve your profile. Well, that's it. Uh, you know, some of those elements that you, you've touched on, I, I think uh, candidates will be very interested to know. All our, our clients who are, are business to individual clientele uh, coming to immigration.ca will receive uh, a very comprehensive job search, which includes this our newest addition to the package, which is a LinkedIn tutorial. We are going to teach you how to create a very uh, impacting uh, LinkedIn profile. We're going to teach you how to optimize your LinkedIn profile so that it appears in many keyword searches. Uh, this will help you stand out when employers or recruiters are looking for, for top talent. We're going to help you define and strategically present your primary and your secondary skills. You have to be able to distinguish primary secondary skill sets um, for reasons that are very well outlined in our presentation. We're going to guide you, of course, on how to properly draft your summary of, of your profile. Keyword density tips and strategies is an important notion that if you're working with LinkedIn, you, you need to understand how to do that. Uh, we're going to show you how to build endorsements. We're going to teach you how to identify the best industries that you, that you could look to where you can hire, uh, where you can contact hiring managers. Uh, as well as recruiters. Now, we're going to help you focus on companies that have been recently hiring. It's important to know that a particular company has gone through, uh, a, a, let's say, a hiring phase. And if you are able to identify those types of companies, it, it might set you apart. It might give you some inside knowledge. We're going to help you create job alerts, as Andrea mentioned, and many other tips and benefits by working with us on our LinkedIn tutorial. So all in all, the, our newest addition to our service package is going to be very, very strategic, as we believe, uh, in helping you relocate to Canada from overseas. Great. Well, and if you're, uh, obviously, if you're interested in coming to Canada, please go to our website, immigration.ca, and complete our free online evaluation form. We'll be getting back to you with your options. And obviously, if you're an employer, please go to the Contact Us section and send us a message. We'd love to speak with you. As always, please do follow us on our social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Also, please do go to the, uh, the discussion forum of our webpage. Right, yes. right. We love to you know, discuss some certain topics of interest to you further as well. Well, what we do often is uh, we do choose some, uh, some uh, uh, important questions that some of our uh, readers are posting. Uh, we take the time to answer them, the ones that we feel are useful and, and beneficial to a broad range of candidates. So take a look at our discussion forum because we do jump in and we do answer a good number of those questions. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you. Thanks very much. Have a really great day.